As you may have noticed, I'm not in Newcastle right now. I'm in Hawaii, Kona to be specific, for the Ironman World Championships. Thankfully, I'm not racing. I don't think I'd even survive the swim. But I am here to cover, as photo and video person, a brand new whole range of wheels from Parkour, a bicycle wheel company run by my friend Dov. It's currently 8 a.m. and I'm sweating. with Dov and Amy from Parkour. We've switched my wheels over to the new Chronos, which has made the fastest bike I own even faster. Aero wheels on an aero frame? Yes, please. We're uh, riding currently up the coast from where we're staying. We've gone through Kona, and we're just gonna keep following this road, and hopefully we don't get lost and end up at the top of a volcano, which is a possibility around here. There is lots and lots of triathletes. They're running faster than us. They're so fast. It's like being on Zwift. Here's a little bit from Dov and Amy about the new wheels. And this is our new Chrono wheel set. It's a much deeper section wheel set than the Stratos that you've been riding before. Hence why, well, I'm out here on a TT bike, but hell, we thought we'd put them on your road bike because they have a 68 mil front, 75 mil rear. So kind of perfect all rounder for long course triathlon, uh, which is why we're here but also like a really great option for sort of faster road rides and crit racing if you're feeling up for a little bit of speed. Uses the same think wider rimmed profiles that we've had previously on our road wheels and we're just bringing that over to the world of triathlon. They are legal for crits then? 100% yeah yeah. Yeah they would be really really awesome for a sort of super fast crit. Um, they are as fast as our old deep section chrono wheel set as well so testing in the wind tunnel uh, they are actually very marginally faster but the more relevant bit is that the front wheel is much much more stable so it's well over 15 percent more stable when it gets windy so it's like a super super rock solid wheel why ha, that's the million dollar question um, that's the great thing about the think wider technology that we use is the front wheel has a much wider rim profile so it's 32 mil wide and has a very very blunt u-shape so it's like i say rock solid in a crosswind and then the rear wheel is a sort of sharper v-shape which is much better for what the airflow at the rear of the bike and helps maximize your aero speed how much faster are they than the stradas that were on my bike before i should know this but i don't amy they are just under eight watts faster and only 100 grams heavier <laughs> why have you got that we prop the bike up Why have we come out at the hottest time of the day, Amy? I don't know, it's Dove's fault. Dove's fault. <laughs> so this is, don't quote me on this, I think this is the biggest triathlon in the world. Yeah. 5,000 people are here to do this event, which is why there's so many people around. Hello. They don't say hello. They split the event up into two, so there's a women's race on Thursday, and then there's a men's race on Saturday. Today is Monday. Jeez. Tuesday. Thank goodness Amy is here. Otherwise, everything would go wrong. Lots of videos in store. We're not just filming on race day. We've got loads of good stuff coming up. So if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel if you want to see me, well, definitely suffering at some point this week where they, well, they're going to rope me into doing a triathlon, aren't they? I can't escape it. It really has just dropped us. Yeah. It's a bit rude, really. It is rude. That was your comeuppance for dropping us. Well, going over the massive yeah. pothole. What thought you were going to come off. I'm stress testing the wheels. <laughs> oh, is that how you do it? Yeah, they're fucking solid. I should probably mention this is very unfamiliar territory for me. I know absolutely nothing about triathlon. I'm assuming most of you don't either. So we're going to learn together. Why are your socks so short? You should be lucky I'm wearing socks at all. Is what happened. Amy knew it was the wrong way. <laughs> we trust you for two seconds. Where we end up? Oh, I'm <laughs> it doesn't say stop. It's just red. It just says no parking. Got a jump hat. Dov was showing off. Hit a pothole. Got a puncher. Just burped it. 
Don't run over potholes. Higher cadence, come on. So we've made it 40 meters down the road and Dov has punctured again. So I thought I'd just inform you of some facts about Ironman Triathlon. 1977 is the year that it was invented and it was actually a combination of three existing events in Hawaii. Starting off with a rough water swim, which was 2.6 miles, which is how long the swim is in an Ironman, followed by the bike ride, which was actually originally a two-day bike ride, which was 116 miles long. They combined it into one day and made it 112 miles, so that gives you the bike ride. Finally, you have the run, which was an existing marathon here in Hawaii, 26.2 miles. All of that joined together Together, including the transitions, they're timed as well. You have an Ironman triathlon. I found the hole. You're done yet? I found the hole. He's found the hole. <laughs> Quick roll over to the expo. This is the kind of center where everything's happening at Ironman Kona. These guys are doing some media bits and bobs. Uh, Let's cross at the crossing, good idea. <laughs> but that's the accelerometer. Cool. And that literally just sits there. Okay. And we'll measure the twitchiness of the bike. Okay. Um, Amazing. Um, I'm a bit upset about this, Dov. Are you cheating on me? Oh, wait, we need to Global talk. Triathlon Network. We need to talk. I mate. thought we, this was an exclusive relationship. <laughs> I mean, I know you've taken me to Hawaii, but... Oh, no, I thought that would be enough for you. This is a bit outrageous, to be honest. <laughs> I'm going to complain to you. Is Amy, is she HR as well? Yeah. <laughs> what is that? Oh, we've got some socks. They're not going to be useful for the race, are they? Depends how fast they are. Right here. Ah, oh, some playing cards. Where's my one? It's just like top cards. Oh, there I am. Oh, yeah, three of spades. That's like... I wonder hey, who's he, the eight. He's that good of a triathlete. He's got a playing card <laughs> with him on it. Well, three of spades, though. Oh. Work to be done. Hang on, who's the ace of spades? <laughs> oh, Gustav. It has been quite a few hours since I last updated this video. We have visited many pro triathletes, got bike check videos on them, which you'll see in the next few days, and we have acquired a very small bag of Mexican food. Wait, shouldn't we have got Hawaiian food? Where's well, pineapple in mine? Is there? Yeah. It's, okay, basic, it's, basic, it's basically a Hawaiian taco. Everything here has pineapple in it. Even yeah. the Haribo is pineapple flavor. Oh my god, yeah. That actually is. You can get that anywhere else. We'll bring all of it home. <laughs> very good day. <laughs> Can you hear that? Of course you can hear that. Apparently, the island has been overtaken by frogs. A specific type of really noisy frog. And this is all we can hear from 6pm onwards, this all night. <laughs> 